Where do people find the time to sit down and make videos? It's been so hard to find even a moment. I guess it's because I've just moved into this space. So I'm still getting used to like schedules and stuff, like figuring out how long it takes me to get to work, figuring out how long it takes me to get to the nearest grocery store, to buy food so that I can eat. And even within that, it takes time to prepare a recipe. Like if I'm gonna marinate some chicken or something, uh, like I'll have to first leave the chicken out to thaw, which will take time, and then I have to figure out how long it's gonna take to cook. Oh, but before then, I have to leave it in the marinade for a certain amount of time, then cook it for another certain amount of time, and then eat it. Eating it is, of course, the best part of the entire process, but that's what I mean, <laughs> is that I guess I've just been figuring out living in a new schedule, sort of. So I haven't had time to do this, even though I really wanted to. But now I do, kind of. I'm also going to be cleaning while I'm recording and making this video about the things I really like about living alone um, and things that I think are the best things about living alone. So multitasking, A plus for me, gold star maybe. <laughs> we'll see if I actually can get anything done. <laughs> yeah, if I can think about cleaning at the same time while I'm thinking about making a video, it's a challenge. Challenge accepted. Also, do you like my Avatar The Last Airbender shirt? It has Appa and there's Momo and then there's these cute butterflies all around it. I don't know. I really like it. My best friend got it for me. Um, as a gift, so I'm sporting it today, and I've already gotten at least one compliment on it, uh, and it was, I don't know, it just felt so nice. <laughs> it's always nice when you meet other fans of the show, or people who've just seen it or are just aware, um, really of any kind of fandom. It just made me feel special. I just wanted to say that, just because it's a good part of my day. Uh, so yeah, anyway, what about living alone do I really like? This wall is already pretty clean, so I don't have to wash it. But otherwise, I've just got, like I should vacuum this space. Hold on, let me show you. Let me put, let me, let me show you. So... This is the space that I'm working with. I know, oh, that's my bookshelf with a lot of, what I have there? A lot of French books um, and theater books because that's what I did in school. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rusty on the French, but I just like to keep these around because I feel like, like if I have guests over, I'll at least look like I have some really cool interests. So yeah, that's totally awesome. Um, otherwise, I just have these empty boxes here. I've been putting the empty boxes out here just so I can keep somewhat organized with things that are done and still the things that need to get done, but yeah, that's the kitchen over there. I have a Pokeball waffle maker that I should probably clean. The waffles got stuck to it today, so it's extra crusty. Normally it's not. It's actually pretty nice, but today I should probably um, clean that off and vacuum in here. But that's one of the things that I like living about living alone, is that <clears throat> I don't really have to be concerned about leaving a mess. I probably shouldn't anyway, and I don't like to. I do like staying clean, because um, it makes me feel good, but there's no pressure, and there's no, I don't have to feel like bad about like just leaving something and then someone else feeling kind of like grimy. Uh, so, if I do, if I do, which sometimes it does happen, just because I'm a person, it happens sometimes, but I get to clean it at my leisure, which is a lot less stressful knowing that no one's gonna feel bad or like grossed out because I have like, like when you, like a, like a pot of rice, not the whole thing of rice, but like when you, after you eat all the rice, sometimes there's still like, it's stuck to the pot and needs to sit in water and then I forget about it, and then I get back to it, and then I clean it. So I don't have to feel bad about forgetting about it, <laughs> essentially. I'm also responsible for, well, really everything. Yeah, like all the 
of my own stuff. I'm responsible for all of my own stuff, which is a good feeling. I'm a Capricorn, so I, I think our sign is very responsible. Organization is really important to us. So being able to keep all the things that I like to keep in certain places, um, in those certain places is so, I don't know, just so freeing. <laughs> That's how it feels to me. Yeah, and then I can just, I can have my things wherever I want them, is the simple way to put it. Not to mention, that way I also know where everything is, and I don't have to panic when I'm trying to find something. Um, so, okay, this is the vacuum cleaner. Brand new. Well, it's not actually brand new, it's just brand new to me. Um, definitely used before, but it's really light, actually. Oh, lighting. Hi. So it's really light, actually. Um, which I thought was really nice and <laughs> made it makes it really easy to just pick up move around wherever so I'm gonna vacuum and Continue at the same time. Let's get into this voiceover work. I think I might not we'll see in a moment It'll be like seconds for you. Okay. Okay. This is the voiceover part at the moment I don't have much to say other than that. I'm still thinking about how much I like that ATLA shirt but I'm vacuuming, you know, just to showcase that I am actually cleaning. Uh, also, I did not think to check and see if there was a bag in there at first. I got lucky because there was, so good thing, because I should have started with that. But you know what? I was not the best at order of operations in math, so this can be considered pretty accurate for me. Okay, check. That's done. Uh, yeah, super simple. Not that hard at all, at least right now because I don't have any furniture, which you might actually be wondering about. Hey, Evan, why don't you have any furniture? That's because I would like some help. <laughs> I'm gonna go ask my friend. I've actually already asked her, um, cause she's really good at interior design. So I was hoping that she would be able to help me pick some furniture out um, because she's good at matching things in that kind of, kind of way. So we're gonna go shopping one of these days. I don't really know when. So until then though, it's, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I am not picking out any furniture without her input um, and wisdom. So that's why there's no furniture in here as of yet. We do have some cute ideas she's already proposed to me and I really like them a lot. So I know that together we're gonna do a good job of making this place cozy, modern, classy too. I plan to clean about once a week, like, clean everything, everything, about once a week. That's what I've been thinking, even before I, sorry. Sometimes my word, words get jumbled together. I was trying to say, that's something I was thinking about even before moving in, uh, cause I, I wanna keep everything nice and clean. And it was already so clean when I got here. <laughs> Let's be real, that didn't happen at all. I clean whenever I get the chance to, because cleaning a whole apartment unit is hard. It's really difficult. Super. There's no shared responsibilities at all with anyone. I really like that, probably for similar reasons as whatever I was talking about before. I honestly don't remember. But I do remember I was talking about that there's no pressure, there's no stress, because I don't have to feel bad um, in case I miss a day of my responsibilities or something. Um, and I, I don't have to feel upset if someone else were to. It's just a lot more comfortable. <laughs> it's a lot more comfortable for me, is I think the common denominator across probably both of those things. Yeah, it's probably a lot of extra work doing everything by myself, but I like the feeling of independence. And it, if anything, it's probably gonna challenge me to be even more responsible as a person. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. This is the first time I've ever lived by myself, really. So this is all new territory for me and an all new experience, which is exciting. It's exciting more than anything. This is my little pothos plant. It didn't do so well. Um, yeah, I think that it's, it might be done, unfortunately. It was in this pot before. Um, my friend gave it to me as a housewarming gift. It's actually a really cute pot. Let me see if I can, because I don't want to drop the soil or anything. It's really cute, but Unfortunately, it didn't do so well, so um, I'm still holding on hope that it might green back up. <laughs> um, yeah, 
it's still a pretty golden color. Okay, moving on. I just wanted to ask, do you hear that? Yeah, I don't either. I really like that it's quiet. Living alone is quiet. Okay, yes, that is reason number three. This entire section while I'm editing, I don't think I explained myself very well. But in short, uh, yeah, being it being quiet uh, allows me to focus and really hone in on my thoughts and not get distracted sometimes when it's noisy or like in the video there was a section <laughs> where there was a motorcycle and I completely lost my train of thought. Like I heard the sound of a motorcycle and I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, motorcycle. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's a ex perfect example of it suddenly not being quiet and me getting distracted. Which will bring me back. Okay, thank you, thank you. I do remember now what I was talking about. But that's what I mean. So it's kind of nice being alone. I don't have like random noises distracting me. Um, yeah. If I need a moment of quiet for a while, I can have that. Um, yeah, and it's really nice. I like it. So yeah, having, having this quiet space is important for me to be productive in the long run um, and to get things done, even things outside of being creative and doing recording videos and stuff. Um, just normal everyday things in life, like going grocery shopping or cleaning the rest of this apartment, which eventually does get done, so gold star for me. That's all I have to say about living solo for right now, though. I feel like there are pros and cons to any type of housing arrangement. Trust me, it took a long time before I came across an apartment that was ideal for me. So there can always be lots of things to think about. But as of now, I think it's a pretty cool setup.